Hello, Brian Kataoka here from the ISO Group. And today I'm going to talk about cluster deployment using DP Auto, a component of DP Admin. But first, let's talk about the environment. What we're going to be doing is deploying an exported set of services to two domains on a single XI-50. So you can see that we have a two XI-50 shown up above with target domain number one and target domain number two. And then we have DP admin, which resides on a Linux server. And it's going to be utilizing the exported services that we uh, exported previously. And then utilizing a script that defines the commands that we want to issue for our environment. Now, previously, we set up a few things prior to the demo. The first thing we did was we created aliases so that DP admin can identify the system that we are targeting. And then we exported three services using DP admin. And there were two XML firewalls, basic firewall and encrypt decrypt, and then one multi protocol gateway called sample MPGW. We also created a deployment policy where we updated the ports and the backside URL for our three services. Here's a recap of the changes that you'll see. We'll be changing the local port from 12,048 for the basic firewall to 14,000. We'll do the same thing with encrypt decrypt changing it from 12,049 to 14,001. If we look at sample MPGW, we're going to be changing the backside URL from dev.com to staging.com. Now let's talk a little bit about the DP Auto XML file. What this file does is creates the script or the choreography of the deployment. So a couple of important points. First, we have to create a script, DP script node, and give it a unique deployment ID. For our DP flow, we want to identify the appliance that we'll be deploying to. In, in this case, we call it blue. Now you notice that there's a DP flow followed by a set of DP commands. The way DP auto works is for every script, you can have multiple flows, which means it can deploy to multiple appliances at the same time. Within each flow, you choreograph the commands you wish to execute in the order that you want to execute them. So if we were to follow this, our DP flow for our first node, the first thing we do is do a save checkpoint. And we give it a unique name for our checkpoint name. We follow that with a save. And then we reset the domain to clear out all of the existing services. And then we save once again. And we follow that up with our import, at which we point to the location of the exported file that we did previously. We follow that up with the flushing of cache because we may have had existing services out there that were loaded in cache. So we'll flush the style sheet cache and the document cache. And then finally, we save the configuration. OK, so now we're ready for a demo. OK. Now we're ready to do our demo. What we've done is brought up PuTTY, our Linux appliance, and we've typed in dp auto shell command, and we pass in the XML file that has our choreograph script. So let's go ahead and run the script. Right now the script's running, 
and it's going to individually process each of the DP commands that we had in the script. DP Auto will provide us a timestamp of the successful commands that have run. You can see that the services are being deployed, and they were actually deployed to two domains. So our script is done. Let's go to Data Power and see if it did it properly. So we're going to log in first to domain number one. And as our script was noted, we're supposed to have imported two XML firewalls and one multi-protocol gateway. So let's go look at our XML firewalls. There's our two firewalls, basic firewall and encrypt decrypt. And you can see that the port numbers have been changed to 14,000 and 14,001. Now let's go over and see if our multi-protocol gateway was updated also. In this case, the multi-protocol gateway should have had its backside URL changed to staging.com. So there's our sample MPG and here's staging.com. So that was successful. Now remember we've deployed to two separate domains, so let's go take a look at our second domain. Again, we'll look at the XML firewalls to see if we have our firewalls there. And we do. They're both here and they both have different ports. Okay, so we've seen DP Auto deploy to two different application domains. They could have been two different data power appliances. But you can see that it was very quick, very simple, and very easy to use. So that's the end of our demo. Thank you very much.